you tune in to the chat right here on City TV with yours truly, AJ Sapo. And of course, um, getting into a very exciting conversation with, um, if I could ever pick one of my favorite doctors who also does music, I think there's only one person that fits that bracket, and that gentleman is here with me now. It's one and only Nilante. Wait, should I, should I call you doctor or, or not? For the purposes of this conversation. Nilante is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to have you here. Sure, yeah, First and foremost, allow me to call on the cocktail that we prepared for you. So we mm -hmm. called it Boot of Jungle. And it's yeah, especially <laughs> for you, uh, powered by Bruce uh, Services, is apple juice, passion syrup, simple syrup, lime juice, and a good day energy drink. Nice so nice please, one. for your enjoyment. But first and foremost, uh, how is it like? Because I'm, I'm very curious. I mean, um, you, you make incredible music, but how, is it, how are you able to pair that with a very busy, I would assume, um, work life as well as a medical doctor? Well, it's um, <coughs> simply put, it's time time management. Mm. But I I like to talk about the roots, the root of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like um, I find out I find that, that I found out that um, I gravitate more towards healing, you mm. know. Um, I myself, you know, I may not be that perfect in in making up when <laughs> I have a beef with you. Yeah. But I'm very much interested in healing stuff, you mm -hmm. know, since the time I be young till the time I did grow. Mm -hmm. And this healing thing, um, it's, 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 it's now being made manifest, you know, in the music, mm -hmm. which, you know, gives you the healing of the soul, True. you know. And then I'm also working in the hospital, so yes. I'm doing some healing of the physical <laughs> as well, you know. So it's a total business of healing. I love and you, it. And, you know, society no go fit progress if we're not a heal. That's true. Because you need to heal and regenerate each That's time. That's true. So it's, it's, it's actually a duty. The man and who heals in the yeah, day man. and at night yeah, man. in two different ways. Yeah, I love man. to see it. Yeah. But we just had a conversation about revenue and royalties and artists as a whole. Have you received money from Gamera before? No, I haven't. But I won't fault Gamera. Mm. Um, I'd probably say, yeah. I mean, I, I registered. Yeah, I went and took the forms and everything. But for some reason, there was not enough motivation. Mm. So, you know, I sort of dropped the ball. But mm. that's natural, you know. Mm. It happens a lot of times. You, you <laughs> even when you call two months, if you go, go, I go drop the ball <laughs> to come up again. And so, you know, it's nothing, you know. So, well, I'm hearing about some good things that are coming out of that yeah. quarters. And yeah. I'm hearing, you know, the money. Are you motivated to restart your registration process? Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. I am. I'm definitely. Okay. Am. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. I like that. Yeah. Now, Talking about your style of music, how would you describe your sound in general? If yeah, you could describe it's, it. It's probably like um, some, a, a, a jollof, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, with plenty things, hey. plenty, you know, beef, uh -huh. beefy, hey. you understand, some eggs. I love. Some macaroni, Come some, on, you know, hey. that thing's mixture, you know, so it'd be so, um, I found out that my music is, I, I mean myself, I can't control mm. what genres I write in. Mm. Today I'm writing in reggae. Tomorrow it's Afrobeat. Mm. Tomorrow I see somebody drop some truck in, some track in some wicked, mm. you know, genre. I'm like, mm. Charlie, no. Mm. Let me also venture into that area and see. So mm. I find out there's a mixture of all sorts of things and a mixture of a whole, you know, area of influences too because mm. I started listening to musicians way back. I mean, listening to people like um, Sam Cooke, you know, Bob Marley, right down, right down, down, down till now, you know, future Travis, okay. tra tra Travis, Travis Scott, Scott. and okay. them people, you know, so you, listen to them people. You Smoke like, you air. like, you cut across and then just yeah. get ins inspiration from everywhere. Yeah. But do you feel that people try and box you into a particular kind of genre, maybe reggae, for instance? Yeah, because they, they haven't seen the full picture yet. Mm. They haven't seen what is coming. Mm. You understand? Um, a lot of musicians start from somewhere and they end up somewhere else. Okay. You know, I know a lot of music, like Bob Marley, for example, I mean, he was singing R&B and yeah. pop songs and mm. ended up doing reggae. Lucky Doobie was doing some traditional South African music, ended up doing reggae and, and things like that. I know reggae, Steel Pulse was playing reggae, went back into pop music. And okay, so that, yeah. as for music there, you know, it's... it's Where the inspiration as, is true. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, I like. Yeah, you, you're yet to see more angles, mm -hmm. you know, of myself. But yeah. you're out with something bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that something bad that you saw that made you get inspired to write this song? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, that song, um, it was all inspired by a rhythm that was okay. sent to, to me by um, 
Jia Beloved, mm. you know, uh, Rasquesi. And he, he got the rhythm produced with Comancy Music. Mm. And then when he produced the rhythm, he decided to invite various Ghanaian artists onto the rhythm. All right. So I think we were like 21. And it's a reggae rhythm. So obviously mm. 21 reggae yes. artists. And uh, give thanks. <laughs> and so I was playing the rhythm in the studio, thinking on what to sing to it. I, did, I, I had about three different hooks, you know, but the hooks, Charlie, they were too serious. And mm. I was like, no, let me get a song that, you know, people want to relax, you know, when, when in January, you know what of I mean? Course. Pressure day and things. So let me give them a song that will, you know, bring the fun and things into the picture. So I was singing, 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 and, and I don't know, I, I just got inspired and I sang, let's do something bad. And I said, ah. actually, do something bad to it. If it be interpreted in so it's many different, different ways. ways. Yes. And so, you know, people go fit relate. Uh -huh. In whichever way them, they choose to relate. Yeah. So I decided, okay, let, let me take it up from there. So like as the lyrics, they come, they talk about various, you know, experiences. And then you, you know, just... Some be about love, some be about driving fast cars and you know yeah it's it's <laughs> i love it but what what are we expecting from um new Nancy? in terms of new music is there an album going to be coming out this year yeah, what this, are we expecting in 2022 this, this this year is a is a is a good year for us it's mm -hmm. structured you know we have um quite a number of singles lined up we have a reggae ep also coming up and we have two major concerts coming up you know mm -hmm. at the end of last year we put up a concert. This was actually the first self-titled concert I'd put I up. I love And, you know, I'm like, you know, I've always been in the hospital and, yes. you know, people, they see their music <laughs> like it's a hobby, hobby. So they know I take their thing seriously. Uh -huh. But now, like, I'm stepping out into the music with Absolutely. more vim, you know. So I said, okay, let me try my hands. Let me just do some. And I was surprised when I took the turn to the venue mm -hmm. and I started seeing cars. Cars, and people cars. were excited to come like, and Wah! vibe with you. People, they were one show love in this way. So, Charlie, big ups to all those who came to the Lilante so, concert, you know. So, we're going to be having year. a few more of that. Two more. Two, two more, more this year. Okay, okay. We're going to do one, Rutical, that one, Jamestown. Uh -huh. And then we're going to do another one for the Uptown people. Too. Now, we're going to have an album. Um, An EP. Okay. An EP. Okay. And it's going to have some big names on it. I, I mean, love. Jesse Royal for sure. Will okay. Be on it. So come you on. You know what you're talking about. Do you know the time is going to be coming out? Yeah, probably like in four months. Okay. Four months. Okay. Within the first quarter, second quarter. But for until then, we'll be enjoying with something The bad. singles and the singles will be coming. So <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And we look forward to enjoying every single single. Of course, starting with something bad. Yeah, man. Playing it non-stop, wherever it is. Shop. So please, encouraging you to go on, stream the music, Nilante. So it's K-N-I-I-L-L-A-N-T-E. -I -I -L -L yes. So please, go out, stream the music by Nilante. It's always a pleasure meeting up with thank you. you so much. We're looking forward to more singles thank and that so EP thank in 2022. You so thank you so and thank you for being tuned in. It's been another exciting edition of The Chat, of course. Encouraging you to go stream the music from Nilante. Something bad is out and you need to be enjoying it. My name is AJ a very big thank you to Coughlin Fashion for my lovely outfit. Find them on Instagram at Coughlin underscore fashion. And of course, get them to do an outfit like they did mine. In under 12 hours, I'm telling you, they did that outfit in a few hours and I'm so excited for it. Of course, hair by first choice and a very big thank you to my amazing crew and ca um, directors, the cameramen and everyone who's inclusive and you for watching. I'll be back next week with another exciting edition of The Chat right here on City TV. Until then, of course, keep watching City TV.